Okay guys and welcome to this unboxing video. Now this is going to be a new thing. Me and Slack have been talking. Maybe we're going to start uploading unboxing videos separate to actual review videos. Um, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. If you think it's a good idea, bad idea, indifferent about it. Let us know. We're interested. But with all that to one side, let's move on to this unboxing for the Wismec Rollo RX Mini Kit. Now, for those watching that aren't sure, the kit actually means that you get the tank and the mod in the same box. As we always do, quick tour round the box first so we know what we're all looking at. There's the front. On the side we have our usual scratch and sniff barcode and apparently I ordered it in a silver colour. Uh, I don't actually ever remember ordering these fucking things because it's usually at stupid o'clock in the morning. Moving around the back of the box we have a list of what's included inside. Obviously you've got your RX Mini, you have two seal rings, USB cable, two user manuals, one for the mod and one for the tank. Uh, we have uh, the Roo Mini, I'm presuming that's how we're pronouncing that, let me know, which is the tank. Uh, we have a very important sticker because that needed to be itemised on the back of the box that uh, yeah, that's important. And we get two triple 0.2 ohm coil heads. Not laughing about getting triple head. We see the maximum output wattage for this mod is 80 watts. Right, that's about it. Let's uh, crack this sucker open and see what we've got. Please do leave a like for the blade. I do like it. And I haven't stabbed myself with it yet, he says before, probably about to stab himself. Because I am just that fucking clever. No, not today. Fuck you, knife. I don't mean it, I love you. The knife, the knife. God. Okay, there she is, all nice and shiny there. That's initial first impression, bit disappointing that the mod doesn't actually match the tank. This is sort of like a brushed and this is more of a chrome. But, as always, get the fuck out here, you bastard. <clears throat> we'll stick him, oh shit, that nearly went wrong. Stick him to one side for a second while we investigate the contents of the box. Now we have the Roo Mini Quick Guide, which tells us all about the tank, how to fill it, about fitting the call heads and whatnot. And we see how many languages it's in, so English, French, oh it's going to be in all the languages, German, Spanish, Russian and Italian. Here we have a brown, oh this is the sticker, this is why they felt it important to actually put it on the, uh, on the back of the box. This is the leather wrap sticker that replaces the, or you can use it to replace the, the black on the mod. I don't know if that goes over the, it shouldn't go over the top. I think you've got to peel that off and then put this one on. But it is, it's pliable and brown. I think that's the two main things we can take away from it. It's a 3M sticky adhesive coating on the back of it and in my experience 3M has been brilliant. So, pretty much you put that sucker on, you're going to have trouble getting it off again. I, I like what's on there though, more than this brown affair. So, we'll stick him to one side, and what else is in here? Standard edition, crappy USB. There's your two replacement seals. And there is your second 0.2 ohm triple coil head. Uh, the first should already be loaded in the tank. <laughs> I learnt that lesson on the last unboxing video where I actually cut that out of there and then took the tank apart and found the second coil in the actual tank itself. Okay, we're separating them first just to give you a quick individual tour. The mod itself has Rollo RX Mini stamped in the top with Wismex logo. There's your 510 connector, making sure it's off, testing that 510. 
It's a very stiff resistance. Because it's a built-in battery, you've got your built-in battery venting holes here on either side and some on the bottom. On the bottom as well we have our adjustment for up and down. On the back is nothing apart from that leathery imitation sticker I suppose you called it. Around the front you've got your USB charging and your go button. Five clicks for on. Comes with charge. Automatically set to temperature control nickel. The battery is nearly fully charged. Three clicks gets you into menu mode and using the up and down on the bottom. No. Using the plus on the bottom will cycle us through the different modes. So stainless steel, TCR memory one and wattage. And the last setting that we've got is this BP which stands for bypass. So that will dump the full load of the battery through the 510 connector. Okay, so here we are taking a look at the Roo Mini tank by itself. Uh, you've got the 510 pin down here. It's a very small 510 pin, very well insulated. I suppose we should probably start at the top and work our way down. So looking at the drip tip, we see that it's got dual silicon O-rings here. As for the construction of it itself, probably they'll ring, but it really does look plastic. Cracking this sucker apart, jeez. Okay, looking inside the uh, top of the top cap, we see two silicon bands. One here on the outside that seals against the glass tube, and one on the inner uh, on the inside here that seals against the chimney. Yeah, so nice to be able to take a glass tank off without it fucking cracking on you. That being said, the size of this tank is, um, the, the thickness of it is, is a good gauge. It looks like it will stand up to a few knocks. Unscrewing the chimney section, we see the, uh, the double O ring down here. Sorry, forgot to say it. It's good. I've got to say, it looks really fucking clean. I'm going to give it a proper proper clean up just because that's that's how we roll we always give things a proper clean out before before we vape them but uh, it, it no machine oil n nothing no bits no pieces the really good really clean right here's that 0.2 ohm triple head that we're uh, always laughing about just with the larger juice sucky uppy bits at the top of the coil we see that um, it's got metal gauze around it to help protect against spit back. And looking at the base, we see a very similar base to the Vecino D30, which we've already reviewed. But uh, the, the airflow comes in through the side, down, and then up through your coil head, through the chimney, and then through the mouthpiece. And I'll be interested to see how the, uh, how the airflow actually feels on this. The, the, the airflow control valve only sort of rotates about a quarter of, of the circle, so a quarter of the diameter. Slightly restrictive. Alright, a bit more than slightly. But then with restrictive airflow comes greater flavour sometimes. Alright, I'm going to break this apart and um, give it a clean out and then we'll be back and will juice it up. Two quick points about this uh, tank design is that for coil changing you're not actually going to have to dump the full contents of the tank to change the coils you just got to make sure that the amount of juice that you've got in there is below the the juice flow to enable wicking these holes up here at the top as long as the juice juice flow is, is that that low you just pull the top out and then you take that out, change, change your coil, put a new one in, screw it back in, all the while keeping this up level, screw that sucker back in there and oof, straight back in, coil changed and you've still got a full tank, that's um, good design. The second thing was about the airflow control valve, like the Vecino D30 has a separate silicon round the actual base of 
the airflow control ring, which means that if any stray e-juice or condensation or anything else does actually manage to materialize, materialize around this, this part of the tank, it won't seep through onto the top of your mod and not start pooling in your, uh, your little cup, your cup section. Right, and here we are back with everything nicely cleaned out, ready to be put back together and get all lovely and juiced up. That airflow control ring, if you do take it off, will locate. If you don't get it in there right, it, um, it will probably screw up the rest of the process of trying to get it all back together. But if you just twist it, it will drop and then you'll get your quarter turn. We're going to leave the bottom section exposed so that I can so that I can juice juice the coil up. We grab some of Tony's secret special sauce. Ah. Reserved for only the finest characters. Right. Pre-wetting the wick before you actually fill the tank up, for those that don't know, just gets the um, the absorption process for the cotton going quicker. Couple of drops down there, not too much. Two mil tank capacity, can't remember if I said it, so I'm saying it now. If I've already said it once, I apologise. Ensures that it's TPD ready. Right. There is a very full tank in there. Got it set to about 30 watt just because it's a new coil. You don't want to start blasting it at its full range when it's a brand new coil. You want to bed it in slowly. So you start off with a, a lower wattage for, for the coils and then gradually just keep knocking it up until you get to either whatever is predefined for the coil or wherever you find is a good sort of sweet spot for that vaping experience that you're looking for. Can't give you too much detail right now about it because I've literally just plugged it in so any feedback I'd give you is just literally on the start of the coil and wouldn't really be fair to it. Be sure to you know keep an eye on our videos that come out for when we put out um, a full review after we've spent a bit of time with it. One thing I have just thought of is that people might be interested in a size comparison between this and this is, which one is this? This is the RX 200S. And so there is your size comparison. So nearly the entire thing, pretty much to the, to the top there. Whereas with this, the RX 200S, where this is um, a sprayed overcoat to the metalwork, this actually looks to be a brushed effect. So they've actually worked with the metal itself, which in my view is a lot nicer. I prefer when they've actually worked with the metalwork, but again, that is just personal preference. Okay guys, so thank you for joining us for the unboxing of the Wismec Rollo RX Mini Kit. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're enjoying this new segment. Let us know, like I said, in the comments down below whether this is a good thing and we should keep doing it or whether you think it's crap and just put it back to how it was. But guys, as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing and follow us on the social medias, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram because as Slack always says, we are quite chatty. Thanks for watching. Because it's a built-in back. Fuck off. Right, setting him to one side for the second and looking at the Rue. I'm gonna call it Rue. No, maybe drop it again.